Shavuot Tov. Buenas. Pues eso es lo que te iba a decir. Shavuot Tov. Feliz sí. semana. Que Dios te bendiga. Sí. Ahí vamos. El viernes no tuvimos nada, ¿verdad? No, yo les mandé un mensaje. Te mandé uno también con texto, uh -huh. por las dudas, si no mirabas. No, 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 pero lo recibí, gracias. De nada. No, es lo no, aprecio mucho. Se... Eres excelente, mantienes, nos mantienes a todos en el, en el universo del, del, de la, del estudio, que es buenísimo. Te lo aprecio muchísimo. You're welcome. Hey. How are you, Alan? How are you, Alan? No sound, Alan. Alan, no sound. Can you hear me? Oh, now I can hear something. Yeah, a little bit, huh? Yeah, good talk, Alan. Good talk to you. How are you? Good. How was your day? Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. What happened oh, Friday? How, how come he didn't? How come he wasn't able to make it Friday? Well, because he sent me a message that he wanted to do it at at uh, four. I, I said okay. Then he sent me back four. 15. I said, no, forget it. Okay. No, it was too tight at 4.15, Alan. Okay. Okay. So he, have, he probably will not do two blocks today. He'll probably do one, and then tomorrow maybe they do two. Okay. Okay. But today it's not very Be short. Fast. It's not, it's not a 18. Hi, hi, no? It's a good size blot. I mean, both sides, you know, not like you usually. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. 19 and 20 is a shortish one, so he'll, he'll be able to do two tomorrow. Okay. I don't know. I. I say and he decides, so. Yeah, right. You know, the famous golden rule, he has the gold rules, you know. But he's already late now. No. No, what time is it? It's 32. Mm -hmm. Terrible what happened in Israel, you know, with the kids, the two kids died. By the ramming, you mean? Yeah, the car, a guy with a car rammed people, a young guy, 20 years old. And one six years old, yeah. And then two kids. Two kids died? Yeah, the six-year-old oh, died first, and then the eight-year-old oh. brother died. Oh, what terrible, oh, what terrible. Dangerous country. Eh? Don't they? Don't they know that it's uh, it's uh, uh, it, it's a common. It's you're going to get killed anyway. Why do they come in? They're going to get killed anyhow. They know what that. What everybody? Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We are on eighteen. You have to sum it up. Yeah. If you're talking about, right, you, you take a haircut either at the end of your 
Naziris Batahara, or you sometimes have to take a haircut if you were a Nazir Tor became Tommy. Now, if we're talking about taking a haircut as part of the Tuma process, you may chilutu me loboy tiglachas. When you become a tsaras, you also need to take a haircut at the end of your tahara process. When you're healed from the tsaras, you take a haircut. So that's also a tiglachas of tuma. So of course, it's low tiglachas to naziris ketani. When the Baraisa talked about taking a haircut, it was talking about a regular Nazir Tohor. Um, who has to take a haircut. So Toshma, I'll bring you another proof. It says in the Pasuk, the Time Rosh Nizro. The Torsh Nidma Kosumadabir. Because I'll tell us that that Pasuk relates to a regular Nazir Tohor that in the middle of the Nazirs became Tom. Part of his Tahara process is taking a haircut, bringing korban, his birds, and oil on a The liftor as a nazir, but kever. And to patter, to say that a nazir who was standing in a cemetery, who became a nazir there, she ain't on He does not require, because only a nazir tor becomes tome has to take haircut and bring korbonis. He does not. Allah dvarim kavachoymer, but isn't it a kavachoymer? Uma torshin hit not. If when Nazar was tor became tommy, ton avar seva was siporim, requires a haircut and bringing korbonis. Mish ayat tommy mitchila. If a Nazar started off his whole Naziris, the tumma, ainu din shi ton avar seva, he would also require that. Tommy loyma, no. The Time Rosh Nizra. Only a Nazir Tahor who became Tommy. Mishaya Torbinit Ma Kosmadab. She ate ton of our servants. The lift us a Nazir Bakever. To tell me that a, a person was in a cemetery and took the vow of Naziris there, he does not have to take a haircut and bring Korbanas. So that's our answer. So a Nazar who was Tommy from the beginning, he does not need to take a haircut. Okay, so then man tana had the rabbana. In the machlekes tanoim that we have regarding this issue, the following baraisa, who is the author of the following baraisa? Ain bein Tommy shen Nazar, the Nazar torch. There's no difference between a person who took the vow of Naziris in a cemetery. Versus a Nazir Tor became Tommy. Ella, the only difference is to Tommy Shanazir Shvi Shalom Oilam Naminian. A somebody who was Tommy who took in his nearest vow in the cemetery. So when he leaves the cemetery, he requires Para Aduma ashes to be sprinkled on him on the third and seventh day. On that seventh day, when he goes, after he goes to the mikveh, after Paraduma, he can already start counting that day as his first day of Naziris. Now, a Nazir Tor Shinitma, in contradistinction, a regular Nazir Tor who becomes Tom in the middle of his Naziris. So it wipes away the 15 days of Naziris. Now he has to count seven clean days. He gets Paraduma sprinkled on him also on the third and seventh day. And in his case, ain't Shvi Shalom Olam in Aminian. Because he has to bring Korbonis on the eighth day. He only can start counting from the eighth day. So it comes out that the only difference is that difference. And who is the author of this? Amr of Chazar Rebbe. Amr Rebbe. Ain Naziris Tarakala Ella Adshmini. That the new Naziris, the Tahara, only starts for that person on the eighth day. The Item Rabbi Yes Rabbi Yudi, he, Ha'amr Naziris Tahar Mishvi Udechaila. There's a Machlokas Tanoi between Rabbi and Rabbi Yes Rabbi Yudi. Rabbi Yes holds that even a Nazir Tahor 
who becomes Tame in the middle of his Naziris and then gets Paraduma sprinkled on the seventh day, according to Rabbi Yossi, he also starts cutting his Naziris on the seventh day. So the Ain Bain can't be Rabbi Yossi. According to Rabbi, there's a, that's the difference. A Naziris Betahara starts counting from the eighth day. A Tomei Shenazer starts counting on the seventh day. So we're forced to say, the Gemara says, that the Baraisa we just quoted is only Kachitas Rabbi, not Rabbi Yossi. What is this, my Rebbe, now that you mention that there's a Machlokas Rebbe and Rabbi Yossi, my Rebbe, my Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi, Tanya, the Kiddash is Rosho Bayomahu. He begins a new Naziris on that day. What's that day? On the eighth day, the day he brings his Korbonis. Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi, on the seventh day when he takes his haircut. Okay, so therefore, the Baraisa is a coin of So the Gemara is going to continue analyzing. What about the following Mishnah? It says that you have a Nazir who had multiple sequential tumos, one after another. We'll see how that works. Eino mevi ela korbanecha. Comes out, he ends up only at the end. He brings one korban for all the tumas that he was exposed to. Now, who could this b'risa be like? Mantan, on Rav Chizda, Rav Yosef, Rav Yudahi. The Omar, Nazir is Tahara Mishvichai. Because he's the one we just learned. That says you can start counting a new Naziris, you don't have to wait for the eighth day, already on the seventh day. So then how does it work out that he's going to have multiple tumors? Bishkach is like a gon shenitma bashvi. It means we're talking about a, a Nazir Tohor who had become Tommy. So it wipes away his previous Naziris days. Now he has to count seven clean days. He gets Paraduma sprinkled on him on the third and seventh day. And now, Kon Rabbi Yossi, he can start counting the first day of his new Naziris from this day. So at 10 in the morning, he becomes a Nazir Tohar. Four in the afternoon, Chazar Venitma Bishvi, on the same day, he becomes Tame again. Umani Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yudi. Even the Loyotsa Sharo Ulavi Korban. Now, he was never fit to bring a korban because you're not fit to bring a korban if you're Tomei. He never reached the eighth day to bring korbanas. And therefore, if he keeps on becoming Tomei on the seventh day, one time, two times, three times, four times in a row, finally, if he gets to a point where after the seventh day, he remains torn, he gets to, the, to an eighth day, let's say after the third or fourth cycle, he bring korbanas, one Corbin will suffice to clean him up of all the tumas. The Itema Rebbe, he, because if you're going to tell me that that price is Rebbe, Rebbe was the one who said that you can't start counting a new Nazir till the eighth day. Now, Edenitma Bishvi, Vachazar Venitma Bishvi, Vachazar Venitma Bishvi. He kept on. Um, you're getting paradum on the seventh day, going to the mikvah, getting a haircut, and then becoming tummy later in the afternoon. Kula tuma arichtihi. Well, there's no havamina that he started a new naziris. It's all one long tuma. So of course, there's no chiddush in telling me you bring only when bring one korban. He did bashmini. Now, if he made it to the eighth day, where he was roy to bring a korban, where according to Rebbe, he starts a new Naziris. Because of anitma b'shmini, harei yotza sharo ilavi korban. He's now a person who was roy to bring a korban, and therefore this is a new tumah, and he has to bring a new korban. You have to bring two, kor uh, two 
sets of korbanos, or three or four. My time at the Rebbe. Where did Rebbe get this from? That he that you, that he said you only start counting from the eighth day. Amar Kra, v'chiper alav, me'asher chatol ha'nefesh. The hodar v'kidesh is rosho. First he needs kapara, which is korbanos. Only then does his head become holy bin Naziris. What does Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Yudah do with those psukim? Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Yudah imke lemakra vikidash es rosho. What's bayom ahu lamalu? What's the added on that day? In eno inyan l'shmini, we don't need bayom ahu. We're talking about yom shmini. So it's an, a superfluous two words bayom ahu. Tzneyu inyan l'shvi. That's where Rabbi Yosef got the concept of moving the Bayamahu to the seventh day, on the day that he takes his haircut. I have a Rebbe Nami Aksi Bayamahu. What does Rebbe do with the Bayamahu? Armelacha Rebbe Ahula Achidosa. Rebbe needs it for a different drasha. Loimelacha, to teach you. Avopishlohevi Korbanoisa. That as long as he makes it to the eighth day, you can start counting Nazir's Petahara, even if you hadn't brought the Korbonus. It's totally in the day and not the Korban. Rav Gista, my duch kiluk, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yehuda, what forced Rav Gizda to learn the Baraisa Rabbi Yosef? Lukma, why didn't he establish the case? Maybe the, the, the seventh day is over and the night going into Shmini, that's when it became Tommy. Then you could say Verebihi. And you could say it's the sheet of Rebbe. And you'll have many harp tumas because once the eighth day started and the Zirs Betahara starts the day starts from the night before, not from the morning. He would only bring one Corbin, a lot of them, because he was because he was not Roy to bring a Corbin yet, because you can't bring Corbinus at night. Now, Midalom Mukim Lok Rebbe. From the fact Rav Chizda learned it like Rabbi Yosef, not Rebbe, are you telling me that maybe Le Maksavar Leila Lav Machusra's Manu? Maybe, even though you physically cannot bring a korban at night, but it's not called mechusr zman. It's part of the, the day that's roi lavos our korban. And therefore, it's like somebody was nitma biyom ashmini, we have, which we have to bring new korbanas. Arvada barava, no. Haba hatayim. One, one fact is connected to another fact. I amrit leila mechusr zman. If you say that night is considered not, you're not raw yet, Amos Mechzi Le Corbin Le because you can only shech the Corbin in the daytime, Nazir Stabil Chaylat Safra. Therefore, the Nazir, according to that sheet, would only start in the morning. If you would say that Leila is not considered lack of the right time, and you'd already be chayv korban at that time. So the Nazirs would also start at night. I mean, you can't have it both ways. And therefore, if you would become Tommy, at that point, you'd have to bring new korbanas as well. Wouldn't be many korbanas for multiple sets of tumah. Okay, gufa. One of these things we mentioned in passing, we're going to deal with in detail. Nitma b'shvi, that a Nazir Tahor who has had Torah Duma sprinkled on him on the seventh day and now he starts counting his Nazir, his Petahara and on the same day, four o'clock in the afternoon becomes Tommy again and this happens multiple times 30 days later, 30 days later 30 days later, all, every time he, he's a Nazir Tahor, he gets Tumah 
He gets to the seventh day, becomes Tomei. At the end of the course, when he finally makes it to the eighth day, Eino may be Elokorben Echad. But Nitma Bashmini, because of a Nitma Bashmini, may be Korban Al Kolechad Echad. Once he got to the eighth day and he starts a new Naziris count, so then if he comes Tommy later on the afternoon, you bring Korbonis for every time you became Tommy. And Maskilumonamiyad, and you start counting immediately your first day of Naziris from that eighth day, Div Rabbi Yazar. The Chachami Moimrim, Korban Echad ala Kol, Ad Shiyavi Chatoso. If you brought a korban chat, remember, you have to bring a chatas, an ashram, and an ola. Now, if you brought your chatas already and then you became tome, so then in a chanami, the one korban will, will take care of you. Then that means korban echad al kol at shevi chatoso. Hevi chatoso v'nitma, hevi chatoso v'nitma, maybe korban al kol echad beachad. It's the chatas that determines the end of the Naziris. Therefore, if you brought the Chattis, and then after that, you became Tommy, you'd have to bring multiple Karbonis. But if you have brought the Ashram and the Ola, you hadn't brought your Chattis, and then you became Tommy, then one Korban at the end of the process, after all the multiple episodes of Tumma, will, will clean you up. Ruch HaTov That's the Chacham Ruch if you brought your chattis, even though you didn't bring your ashram, you can already start counting your Naziris days. So we have two shitas so far. We have there. No matter what, you bring multiple karbonis. Hmm. It depends whether you brought the chattis, you brought the other karbon. Third shita, Rabbi Shmuel, Benoit, Rabbi Yechim, 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 Rabbi the ashram too is like the chattis. If he became tome and he hadn't brought the ashram, so he still has to bring multiple korbanos. So Bishma Rabbi Yezer, I understand Rabbi Yezer. Amar Krav Viki Dashes Rosh Shabbat Yamahu. Afal Pishlo Hevi Korbanos. So even he didn't bring any korbanos, he could start counting his new naziris, and therefore he becomes tome afterwards. You have to bring a korban al kolecha beachad. The Rabbanon, the Bayoma, who is Afal Pish Lohevi Ashamo. It means even though he didn't bring the Ashram, the Yoim is what does it. Tell the Rabbi Shmuel that it's the Chattis and the Ashram. Ahum Alamali. What does he do with the Bayoma? Armalach Ahu Afal Pish Lohevi Oilaso. As I said, there's three Korbonis Chattis, Ashram, and Oila. According to Israel, even the Oila is Ma'ake. <coughs> The Rabbanon oil lo boy miuta. The Rabbanon say the ola is not even in the picture here. It's not part of the kapora. Doi roin ba alma. It's a gift. It's a matana to Hashem. It's not part and parcel of the kapora process. My tamay Rabbanon. The Tanya. The hizir lashem. Vizir Lashem is Yemen Israel. Vevi Kevis Ben Shnoso La Asham. The Matamud Loyma. What is this teaching us? The Pish Matsina Shakola Shamash Bator Shain Ma'akvin. When you're required to bring an Asham for Kapara. And you haven't brought the yashem. You're lacking kapara. And you can't eat kodshim. So maybe yachol avzema akvo. And if you didn't bring the yashem, you can't start counting your nazir's petahara. So let's go to Yud Tess Ahmed Aleph. Hold on. 